Java 22 saw the daylight a couple of days ago and it is introducing a couple of really cool features. But why should you care about them? This is not a long-term support version that you will be working with. So is there any reason to learn about them? Sure there is. They will be included in the next release of long-term support version. Java 22 is introducing 12 new awesome features where four of them are already stable. I picked four out of them, which I find the most interesting. Let's start off with unnamed variables and patterns. I have created an empty class already and now let's try to use this feature. My case is the following. I need to iterate over the list and print something to the console for each item. But I don't care about the actual item. I can use for each loop here and before Java 22 I would have to name this variable somehow which would indicate that I will be using it. It would be misleading. Now I can use underscore to name this which indicates that I won't be using it and I don't care about it. Easy, right? The second thing is with methods that return value which you don't really care about. You know this drill. This is especially annoying when your project quality requires no such dangling unused returns. This feature is a lifesaver here. With ease you can suppress such warnings and you will keep your management happy. Next great feature is string templates. Just like before we are starting with an empty class and let's consider following scenario. You just want to put a specific variable value into the string just like in JavaScript or Python without having to care about the specific format. String templates processor allow us to do that by using the specific syntax slash and curly braces. Between the curly braces just put the variable and you are done. This processor returns the created string. Let's take a brief look at the second example. We already know that we can use simple variables in this, but what about expressions? We can do that too. Let's try to sum two numbers. Great, it is working like a charm. You can do a lot more for example by using a single line ifs. Streams are getting an upgrade with gatherers. This one I believe is the most advanced of them all. Just like the author described gatherers, they are a lot similar to collectors because they were heavily influenced by them. Gatherers allow you to do a lot of cool stuff on your streams. Let's take a look at first example. I have a stream of n integers and I want to group them into pair. How can I do that? Let's use a fixed window function of gatherers. Just pass the desired window size and you are done. What else can we use gatherers for? Well, let's consider following case. Maybe it won't be realistic, but it is good enough. We want to slide through the whole list of integers with a window of two elements. And we want to get only those windows where first element is greater than 30 or second one is lesser or equal to 30. Nice. You can do a lot more than what I have just showed you. You can write your own gutterer, but this is a topic for another video. We will end on implicitly declared classes and instance main methods feature. Remember? when you were just starting your journey with Java and what hit you first was this monstrosity of main method, it was confusing. Fortunately, there is a proposal to change this, so it will be easier for new devs. Let's take a look. We can remove almost everything, static keyword, access modifier, and even params. But will this work? Let's check it out. It works, but what is happening under the hood. To get a better understanding, let's create a constructor and print something to the console. Do you suspect what will happen? Well, we see that print2 was printed first, and after that, print from the main method. This feature checks whether you have instance main method with or without params. It creates an instance of this class and runs the main method. Simple, yeah? What do you think about them? Let me know in the comments down below. I think that future of Java is looking great and I'm really excited for more. If you liked the video, remember to click like button and subscribe. This helps me a lot. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.